won't stop believing. Oh, oh. This trip was three years ago, and I'll let the cat out of the bag. We've already been back once, and I know we're gonna return many more times. For 10,900. <laughs> the San Juan Mountains got into our hearts pretty hard, and I'm sure it'll get into yours too. Okay guys, you think that's silver? Yep. Yes it is. We're up about 11,000 feet on the Million Dollar Highway. And it's gorgeous. What'd you see, boys? Two waterfalls. No, over there. Old mine over there. Where? Oh, yeah, Got look the over there. Mines. Way in the look distance. Look, there's a whole bunch of them over whole there. Whole bunch of them. We're going to stop at that one. Are we? Okay. Nice. Um, back up a little bit, Owen making me nervous. Look at these waterfalls. Wow. Truck's doing great for us. Ethan's so tense he needs a massage. Huh? <laughs> Driving on the Million Dollar Highway wasn't as scary to tow as many led me to believe it would be. Um, you do have to stay with a pinpoint focus and stay on the job at hand. No sightseeing for the driver, um, but it's doable. Owen! Whoa! Think this thing's strong enough? I haven't been to Switzerland, but this sign calls you Ray the Switzerland of America, and I have to believe it's pretty accurate. On this visit, we stayed at Ridgeway State Park. It was a nice park, but we've decided that it is, it's a little too far from the action for us. We have some good friends from South Carolina that always dreamed of retiring and moving up to this area. Well, a year before this trip, their dream was a reality, and they moved up here. So we're going to spend some time with them while we're here. So our friends, Corey and Patty, they're into the off-road lifestyle, and so most of the time spent with them is going to be covering the many, many miles of trails through these San Juan Mountains. I didn't have any experience off-roading, but I trusted his judgment, and he knew where we could take our truck. Okay, I'm at uh, low range in second gear at 2100. Our first choice was Ofer Pass, which goes from near Silverton over the pass to Ofer and then on to Telluride. I know all the guys can relate here, but there's something manly about taking your own vehicle through terrain like this. Even though thousands may have driven it this very same week, I felt like a pioneer. I was blazing a path and making new discoveries. We made it to Telluride. The plan was to have a picnic lunch in a park and then explore town, but... So, here we are in Telluride. 
having to eat our lunch in the car because of the rain. We are at um, Station Telluride. Telluride. Telluride at a ski lift. We are about to go on top of that mountain up there. Riding the gondola up the mountain is free in the summer and it made for a pretty good rainy day activity. Oh, 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 Of course, they have a store here that we don't have back home. I went in and snooped around for the novelty of it. For the record, nothing purchased. The rain let up a little bit and we were taking Last Dollar Road to get back to the Ridgeway area. Really not bad. It wasn't for me anyway. It was a little muddy from the rain, but that only inflated my sense that I was driving Bigfoot. This trail really was no challenge technically, but if you want beautiful backcountry scenery, it pretty much gives you that. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. Mur. We had a great drive, our first time in Aspen Forest. We were exhausted from the day, so we had Corey and Patty over for dinner visited a bit and then got to bed. The 4th of July was tomorrow. Corey and Patty had some friends that managed the Antler Motel on the main drag in Uray. So we were lucky to have a home base for the day's celebration. We watched the parade and other activities, but we fell asleep before the fireworks came, which we're really sorry we missed. I guess you can't burn the candle at both ends. For the first time in four or five weeks, we sat in upholstered chairs at the hotel. Boy, it hit us all in that moment how many comforts we'd been living without. At the trailhead of the Alpine Loop, Engineers Pass, airing down tires, Rick and Debbie's Jeep, that's what we're riding in today. And we're gonna be heading up here, the famous Alpine Loop. The Alpine Loop, it's a huge international draw for off-roaders. Our truck, of course, wasn't able to do it, but we were blessed by friends again. We split up into two Jeeps for the day. We first went up Engineer's Pass. I'm thinking as we're on the trail, what if I had flown from overseas to explore this area? Would it have been worth it? You bet. It was like visiting another planet. Well, I assume. As we were climbing, we passed a runner coming the other way. I learned that many elite runners use this altitude and thin air to train. Makes sense, if you can run up here, you'll be on speed back home. Heck, we could hardly walk when we got out of the Jeep. In fact, Ethan was standing for only a minute and then had to get back in. Here's the whole gang for the day. It was a great day with great people. The San Juans are littered with remnants of the mining boom. All right, we've got off Engineers Pass, and now we're headed to what? Go ahead, man. Here's an old dam that's busted through. Pretty awesome. Still going through this mining town. And uh, some of it doesn't look all that old, does it? 
like this for instance. We arrived in Lake City in time for lunch. Lake City's a neat town. I could see making it a home base for a trip in this area. We were pretty far from home and the clock was ticking, so we got on to Cinnamon Pass. You're directly straight out your left. You see a fox sitting on a gray rock. On the other end of Cinnamon was the remains of the mining town Animus Forest. And then they've been rebuilding this this house. The Historical Society of Silverton has been slowly working on this house. It's all volunteer effort. Yeah. Not had much out here, but you sure had a view. So, was this a house that that a family would have lived in, or a house where workers would have bunked? No, this was a family. <sighs> the walk to get to your neighbor's house. Oh wow! I feel like I'm in a one of those fun houses or something like four. Illusion. I'm pretty certain we've been bitten by the off-road bug. If only in my mind, blazing a new trail, going where none have gone before. <laughs>